<laughs> what was that? Why am I uh, not getting these bottles today? What's going on? What is popping? Why is it doing that? Do Okay. Nice. Possibly, yes. Just don't feel the don't don't feel the bottle now, like. Oh, because I'm playing Corvo, not Emily. What am I doing? That's why. I switched from Emily to Corvo. So that's why I was confused, yeah. Of course not. That bottle skip doesn't quite work the same way with Corvo. You can get it to work still, but it's not as fast. Mm. Fucking brain. Holy shit. Maybe. Yeah, we should be good. More than Gucci. I didn't check my charge level. A cut letter on my mouse. Well, I just plugged it in. That's fine. That way I don't at least run out of charge. It's just when you get low battery, I feel like it sometimes uh, starts uh, fucking around a bit more. How's it going? <laughs> okay, so we're not going to go for this first skip because I just fucking up. Yes, I'm serious about it, yeah. Why not? I mean, I would love to... I haven't finished a single proper run yet. We did Corvo a couple times, I think, but I haven't finished a single Emily run yet. Technically, this is a reset, but for the sake of this practice, I don't care. But yeah, it's not sub 40, doesn't seem. It's not impossible by any stretch. Um, while doing it, most likely improving Corvo Reki at the same time. Which seems doable. There's a lot of leeway. Like, there's... A lot. It seems like a nice challenge. The issue with, like, this game is that there isn't really anything that's super interesting and super challenging. Especially now that, you know, we've kind of reached the last minute barrier. We're not going to get sub-19 by any stretch. So, there's, like, the next best thing. And it's a challenge because I can't get sub-20s consistently, obviously, so... Getting two back to back is um, seems like a good good challenge. Hard, yeah, but like also a good one. I don't expect to do this like in a day, so like I, I need to get into a groove during the summer. So I'll be leaving in a week, and then uh, whenever I get set up, I mean I, I'll get my set up there in the same day. But like the week after that, hopefully I'll get into a groove. Yeah, I mean, I'm not concerned at all. I mean, it's either doing that or I don't know what else I would do. I honestly don't know what I would play. My idea is to split the time between this practice, uh, practicing this shit, and then also, like, playing something else. I want to have, like, an active project in this game. It's just kind of hard to figure out what. And you don't need to, it, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like, that's the, that's the beauty of it, right? Like, it can be scuffed. And with Corvo, depending on how much, t if I, let's say we get like a 1945, that gives you 15 extra seconds of leeway, basically, with Emily. Well, 10, because 1955 is the Corvo Ricky. But you know, like, if I can improve the Corvo Ricky at the same time, that gives me more leeway with Emily. Which would be very important. Yeah, it seems like a cool idea. It's fucking hard, obviously, but like... That's kind of the point, I think. This is the ultimate challenge for this for now. 
Uh, the other other challenge that I had in mind was something that's a bit hard. Um, and that was a good split, by the way. Uh, it's all collectibles anthology. That's a gold split, by the way. Yeah, sub 20, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be perfect to be sub 20. But yeah, all collectibles anthologies would be nice because Dissonant 1, all collectibles is great. Um, the only issue with that is that I, I kind of... I kind of dislike the fact that Dissonant 2 would kind of rely on Zephyr. But I could just... I, I think I would need to first run Dishonored 2, and then Dishonored 1, and then Death the Outsider. Or if not like that, then I would have to just make it so... I just don't use the Bone Charms, basically. So I would do Charmless, which... Or like, well, Speed Charmless, I guess, if that makes sense. So no Zephyr, no Swift Stalker. Just for my own sanity, not, not for anything else. Like, not because, oh, it shouldn't be allowed. Oh, what am I doing? I did like a shit leap because I, I was in all collectibles mode because I was talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but but the issue isn't even the bone charms. That's not why I'm like, uh oh, I don't want to do it. It's it's this on a deathy outsider. Because there's like 32 or something stupid bone charms. Discover another big skip that sub 20 is not world, world record rate run anymore. It's definitely doable. It's doable before that. There is nothing that's like... Uh oh, you can't ever do that again. In the sub 20s right now. There is nothing like that. The RNG is pretty minimal. There's Duke and then there's the Riddle. Everything else is pretty much execution based. Um, which is the only reason this game can be very, very consistent. Very, very, very consistent, right? Like, the consistency in this game is ridiculous. Or, like, you can be consistent. At least I've, I, I've had that, you know, for years. I, I, I've found it to be true. Some, some categories, like, you know, all collectibles are not. But I've, again, I've been playing this for so many fucking years that, like, I don't get tripped up by small things. You know, things that fuck are fucked up, they're execution errors. So it's not even confidence, to be honest, but thank you. It's more like just pure knowledge from the fact that there are no game mechanics that are random that would fuck you up tremendously. They're small things. Some guards might walk a bit weirdly, you know? It's a bit random how you pick up Sokolov, how the hitbox works. So sometimes when you press that button, you might accidentally drop him. But like... It's super minimal. And then there's still like... Even if you look at my fuck-ups now, we have a 21 second... We, I've lost 21 seconds, right? Even then, we're still... On a 39.09 best possible time. Of course, best possible time isn't a amazing factor. But all of those times are achievable. That's the important thing. None of those splits are, like, out of reach. Only things that are a bit fucky are, you know, getting a perfect riddle. Or something like that. Yes. This split didn't used to be sub 3 for the longest time. That was a 302. 302 a year ago, I would have killed for. Uh, the gold split there, like, uh, one and a half years ago was still, like, a 304, 303. So I don't want to be, I don't want to, like, sound cocky. I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, it's an easy thing. It's not easy at all. That's, that's the entire point of it. But yeah, I, I need some sort of a challenge to motivate me because there's nobody else is running any percent. Hey, Mission Elf. Nobody else is running any percent, which I have no, there's no competition, which... It's just really annoying because I need something to drive me. I don't have motivation myself. So in order to create content, in order to, you know, get some new times, I need to do something really ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see, of course. Like, it might be that I'll crash and burn and I, I can't finish this and that's okay. Um, I would just love to get at least like 40 something because that means... Getting even a low 40 means that you got two low 20s, which 
are amazing. Like, the difference between a 2001 and 1959, it's only two seconds. Like, the 2001 is still an amazing time, right? Still fucking great. It's fantastic. That might be a gold split as well. Yeah. Good stuff. Not by much, but 0 0.7. It's okay. The climb there might feel a bit random, but again, execution. <laughs> like, that's the beauty of this game, to be honest, that it is execution based um, so heavily that you can grind out those flaws. There's a lot of games that I've played and a lot of my friends play where RNG holds a way bigger grasp of the run basically and yeah like um yeah insta reset anthology over nose effort yeah that's why i would have to kind of do dishonored 2 first but i i really like the idea of doing dishonored 1 dishonored 2 dishonored death the outsider for no reason really i i just like the idea it's the same thing with uh the normal anthology and that's something i still want to play as well i want to get a sub 105 i think we're currently at one what is the anthology? Is it like 106 or something? I don't remember how much it is. My bad. Also, that sucked. Ouch. But yeah, right now, I just want to finish a run to kind of get a time to compare to. Because it's a bit weird when there's no times there. I originally put the recce's there, but like, I feel it was maybe a bit too brutal to compare to the world records. Even though technically they are the times to beat. But those runs are really fucking good. <laughs> So, I was just like on the minus all the time. Or on the plus, sorry. So, it didn't like look too encouraging. We only have one potion. That's okay. Can I please? Can I get my blink back? No, I couldn't. Motherfucker. Oh, that was bad. Hi, boys. I'm beginning to think that 133 isn't real. What the I think fuck that do you want? I'm beginning Fucking to think stick. that. Yeah. Monday brunch, baby. There has Fuck. to be a 143, the gold. The 133 can't be real. There must be a miss input from me. Because I didn't lose 10 seconds there. I've had juice in my mouth. Juice. Are you yeah, fake news. Too, too, too good of a time. Hey, Omega. Hey, fun. But yeah, we'll see. The all collectibles thing is also funny because it is a painful run, the Death of the Outsider one, but it's doable. I've already done it, right? And it's kind of funny because in Mission 3, you have to be non-lethal ghost. And in Mission 4, you have to kill everyone inside the mansion and outside even. You have to kill almost every NPC, which is kind of crazy. I'm okay. I'm just waiting for the Xbox game show today. We get to see some more Starfield. Am I right? Amazing. You're feeling wide. That's always good. I don't want to get this clip now. I don't know if I had the mana for it. I would have had the mana for it. It's okay. And I also had a burger today, so that's good. One, two, three. Let's see our luck. Nuts here, ring, finch, warminal. Nuts here, ring, finch, warminal. What am I doing? We have Marcola, uh, Snufton, Winslow, Bird. Winslow, Bird, Marcola, Snufton. Conti's Diamond. 117 is okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a shit show. Oh, my God. The Starfield gameplay does not look good. I'm just going to be honest. I don't think that's, like, a controversial take. It looks like Fallout in space, and as much as I liked Fallout 4 because I don't really care for RPGs, um, yeah, it looks really scuffed. The shooting just looks bad, and it's it's unfortunate. Dishonored 3 announcement today. I will gift you a tier 3 sub to Pokimane next month if Dishonored 3 announcement today. I would actually shit my pants. Arcane Leon has been working very hard. 
I'd be like, bruh. Bruh. But yeah, other than that, I have a uh, I have the blood and pee sample thing today, tomorrow. At 1 p.m. So I'm like, I'm not I'm not stressing it. Like I don't care about that. It's just that appointment has been postponed like three times now. So it, you guys know, like when you have something, and you just like, you might be it might be nervous about it first or whatever. But then at the at some point you're just annoyed. You just want to get it out of. Uh, you just want to get it done. That's where this is at me. This is for me right now. Damn. Imagine turning off gift subs. Sheesh. And that's, yeah, I, I need to basically go and give. Th this happened like two or three weeks ago. I went to give blood, blood sample, urine sample. And uh, they didn't have like the required papers anymore because that, that had apparently ran old, like. They, they, I don't, I don't know, I don't know the English word for it, but like, the doctor needs to basically send a letter there saying, "Hello, this patient is coming in to do these tests," and that thing is, that thing, is on for three months. I was one week late, basically. It's insane. Well, except Coletta, one thing: test six is coming out. Yeah, sure. It's going to be in like five years, right? And after that, there's going to be like another four years until a Fallout 6 or whatever, but or five. But um, yeah, those games are coming out eventually because it's such a money milking cow, you know. Dishonored is not quite that, so it would be similar. Yeah, I, I get that. And I'm I'm happy about that. You know, game devs don't do this thing where they just use IPs as kind of a bait where they say, oh, this might be coming, and then they don't do it, right? You know, like Blizzard did with uh, Overwatch 2. Hey, Zudi. GTA 6. <laughs> yeah, Rockstar's gonna be like, let's go, bitch. That leak was kind of big. Was it early this year or late last year? When was it? The GTA 6 leak. I don't really look at it, but... No electricity in the entire street. Oh, man. Noob lube. Hello. You're excited for Starfield. Hey, good for you. I can't quite. I'm, I'm too cynical to be uh, excited, but I'll play it. I don't really care. Either way, I like space games and uh, Skyrim was fine after 300 mods. I mean, if it was only for Xbox, that would also mean for Windows, so I don't, I don't personally care. It's nice to not have to buy all of the consoles to be able to play the exclusives, because I can play, uh... <laughs> I, I can play, uh, Microsoft games on PC. GTA 6 is publicity stunt, it's not real. I mean, it's insane how much money they made from... GTA 5, it's like the single biggest entertainment brand, like the single biggest IP to like, like single biggest game or whatever, entertainment, piece of entertainment media that has made like the most money ever out of everything. Isn't that insane? Like, sure, it costs them like 250 million to do or whatever, but like, that doesn't matter. They, they made so much money with that. Gold? Not quite. They made so much money with that. Oh my god. It's pretty insane. I don't have a Duke prediction for this because we started so early, but that's okay. Do I want to grab this glass or not? I'm still like not sure about it because sure, grabbing the glass is nice. You can do this. But at the same time, grabbing the glass means you sometimes touch the guitar or whatever. And you can't spam the inputs. This is risky. I didn't save. Dungeon Fighter Online. How much has GTA 5 made money? 7.7 .7 billion. What the fuck is Dungeon Fighter Online? What? 
What is that? What is that? I've never heard of it. Not, you know, I'm not calling Google a liar, but... Yeah, okay. I guess, I guess the top e e eastern whatever, western whatever. Yeah, top western me media. Because Rockstar is, you know, it's not Japanese. Do I crossfire for some reasons? I don't think, I don't think my... I don't know if Minecraft has made 20 billion. Or even however much Rockstar has made. For, because you have to remember, Minecraft sold a lot. But Minecraft doesn't have MTX stuff. Like, GTA isn't making money from game sales. GTA is making money from the fucking Game Sharks. Like, th that's where they're making money from. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's not just the game sales. It's like the MTX. That's that's the only reason, right? They they kept doing updates to GTA as well. It's just the updates that they did were for the online stuff. I mean, it's, there's really no reason to either. The game's grindy as fuck, but there isn't really much to do. This is coming from somebody who... I did try out the online a bit. I did the heists. We did all the heists, I think. This was, like, after the fact, obviously. Like, I don't really understand why... Like, I don't need to understand why somebody would spend enormous amounts of money, because I just know that people do. The same way I played Genshin Online for, like, 700 hours, and I, 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 I did spend money on it, but I spent, like, less than 200. There's no shame in spending money on stuff. Do whatever the fuck you want. But, like... I just don't understand equinity. I don't understand the value proposition of the... Yeah, I, did. I tried Honkai Star Rail. I actually liked it. I was kind of suspicious of it because I don't like turn-based games. But it has like an automated system and stuff like that. I don't really care, care about the gacha elements too much. AKA why I only spend so little on, uh, on um, Genshin. I didn't check my mana at all. Um, pretty sure we have at least two pots. Sussy, what you on about? We have four pots. Holy shit. I'm basically rich. If mana was currency, I would be rich. Zudi got fucking Omega addicted to both of those games. Yeah, I think you were here last time when I was like, we were talking about... Was this last night when we were talking about MOBAs and shooters and stuff like that? Um, these conversations happen so often that I sometimes get them mixed up. My bad if this wasn't last night. Okay, that was good. I can't save here because of reasons, so... Ah, uh, see, this run would have still been fine. At a 2018 or whatever. What? Dude, I hit missed it? That's hilarious. I'm not gonna load a save. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not gonna load a save. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna absolutely throw this. Okay, 2040. That would have been like a 2009 or something. I need to pause it manually there, by the way. Whenever you don't ever see this pausing technique, but the reason why I do is because there is no way for me to otherwise pause the timer between these runs. Um, because now I can go and create a save for Emily and all that stuff. And then I can continue it manually. So now I'm going to quick save, quick load. Then I'm going to unpause the timer and it's going to automatically start again. That clip through the ship was in my guide on YouTube. Um, wasn't? Um, it, it could be. It could be that it's not. It's only for Corvo. Hmm. I want to think it was in one of the updates, but I could be wrong. But it's very easy. But yeah, the latest uh, latest guide was for Emily. Latest guide for was for Emily, and um, it's not for Emily. You can't do that for Emily. 
Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. I know the there's Emily guy that's missing one thing, which I did uh, correct in the latest version, which was the Duke, um, Duke door, which caused some confusion. There's a Duke prediction now, by the way. But yeah, we do have a lovely Discord on the speedrun.com. If you go and check that out, um, there's a lot of people. If there's any questions at all about the run, if there's like, hey, this wasn't shown. People will help you, usually at least. So now our goal is just to get like a sub 41, I guess. It should be kind of free, but you never know. <clears throat> yeah, so basically Duke has five locations total. He only he only has one static location, the very first location we check. And it basically we're gonna check the first location, and if he's not there, if the body double is there, we got quote unquote duked. And then sometimes he is there and we didn't get duped. So it's basically good luck, bad luck. So getting duped means we got bad luck. Like we got bad luck on the last run. How much time did I lose because of it? Maybe like eight, seven seconds. Maybe not even, maybe a bit less than that. I could have burned some of my mana to kind of make up for it, but it's okay. Oh, motherfucker. I'm not strat hiding anything. What are you on about? What is their strat hidden, Zuli? No allegations. <laughs> I mean, some sometimes it is true. Like, I've come up with a strat. And then I, like, I, I've completely forgotten to make it. Like, I've streamed it and everything. And I've even explained it on stream. I've just forgotten to make a clip about it because... It's not like anybody fucking cares in the end anyway. It's just nice to have it all there. But you can see the Rickies! <laughs> you can see the Rickies! <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, hopefully, I, I, I truly, honestly, everyone cares. That's a lie. Sorry. I've been playing this game for uh, seven and a half years. Or however long it was. Six and a half years, right? Yeah. Sadly, people don't really care about any percent strats. Even less about like AC or something. There's been a couple people now learning AC, which is cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh my God. So we can't really reset because we're, we're doing this silly category. In case somebody didn't notice, we're doing Emily Corbo back to back. So if both runs were done back to back, sub 40 is possible. And, well, yeah, you can see the best possible time is like 40, 25. So, you know, we're a minute and a half behind that. It stacks up very fast. That's okay. I just want to have some splits to compare to. Because this is technically, it's still a new run. So this is a personal best of this specific run. And I like it. I think the idea is insanely great. It's hard to come up with like gimmicky runs for this game. I was once thinking about all nine categories in a row, but it kind of, it doesn't really seem that fun because the fact that the categories are so similar with Emily and Corvo, all collectibles and no powers, especially like, oh, sorry, all collectibles and, and non-lethal ghosts are very similar with Corvo and Emily. There's very little difference. So it kind of screws you up, you know? Can I please do that? Thank you. God damn it. Let's go go down. Safety strats. Oh, I want to do safe strats. I ended up doing risky strats. Are there even people playing this? No, there are people playing this. We have new runs every week, pretty much. Just no competitive ones yet. Well, the thing is, all nine categories is, you know, that is, that is it. Because nine categories, there's only three categories per. 
There's any percent non-lethal ghosts or collectibles. But then there's Emily, Corvo, and no powers, which is again Emily, but just without powers. AC, non-lethal ghost, any percent no powers anthology. I mean, you don't pay me enough for that, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> I only work here. I don't get paid enough. Thanks. 100% NPNLG. Not sure if it's doable. How much? Well, I don't, I'm not really hurting for cash right now, so it's a bad thing because I'm about to get a bit of money because my grandpa died. So you need to ask me again when I'm like feeling really, really poor. <laughs> then I'm going to be like 350. <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously. Also, I wouldn't be able to do that because I can't play Dissonant 1 to that level. Sorry. It's like impossible. Are you at 120 FPS, Quinzy? It is FPS bound. So if you are running with V-Sync or if you have your frames capped at 60. No, my grandpa day was a good thing. I, I I haven't kept in touch for like 10 years. I don't I don't care. Sorry, I forget to say that sometimes because, you know, it's very well known in the stream that my family is I'm my family relations are strained. I, I don't care. Uh, it just came as a surprise that he happened to left a bit of money. Yeah, so it's fine. Get better at DS1, DH1. Nah, it's too much work. I already did, uh, it took us like eight hours beating Dissonant 1, Dissonant 2. Uh, did I ever post that VOD to YouTube, by the way? Did I ever post that VOD to YouTube? I might not have, guys. I need to take a look if it's still set. We did Dissonant 1, Dissonant 2, and Dissonant 1 plus the DLC, Dissonant 2 and Death the Outsider all back to back to back. It took me like eight hours and it was non-lethal ghost glitchless. So it was glitchless non-lethal ghost. It was like, a f for fuck's sake. It's like a fast, any a fast uh, glitchless speedrun. I mean, I did that for like 250 euros, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I need to check if it's still there. Dark Souls 1, lol. I mean, I already did Dark Souls 1 speedruns. Wrong warp ones on, um... Uh, was it wrong warp? Or what, what run did I even do on uh, Remastered? I don't remember. Well, now this run is utterly garbage. So we have time to go and check if that VOD is still up. Uh... Shit, it might not be anymore. Yeah, it's not because it was before Redfall, right? Oh no, I didn't highlight it or anything. Am I? Was I really that dumb? Yeah, I didn't highlight it. Why? Oh well, too bad. Rip. Ripping pep. Tabbing out mid run. Maybe a checks. I mean, it's not an official run, so it doesn't matter. To go to 30 FPS so I don't get wrecked. That's the beauty of uh, making up your own bullshit runs with no leaderboards. You can just make up whatever rules you want. Kek W. I would, I would not suggest alt tabbing. If you do that once, I don't really fucking care. Especially if you're time shit. I actually don't care. If you do it multiple times, uh, go fuck yourself. Just like reset your run and all keep all tapping or something. I mean, in all fairness, I don't even watch people's submissions. I, I actually don't care. If if you submit like a, a 20, 28 minute time to Dishonored 2, I th the, the chances are I'm going to watch exactly the start. Do you see that your auto start is correct? Your auto save is correct. I'm going to check that the load removal works. And then after that, I'm going to check the ending. If I'm reading really cheeky, I might check like conservatory or something. But other than that, I, I don't care. I just don't, I don't think it's worth anyone's time. 
people want to submit their 28 minute times that's totally fine go for it i i suggest and i re recommend you do it but like you don't gain anything from a moderator watching it through because as long as everything's legit, legit it's fine and if somebody goes and says oh well wow there was a huge glitch exploit cheat shown on the run seven years ago i was like okay well we'll just remove it no big deal if the time is competitive i'll do watch it obviously because then it's worth it right i mean you're just gonna get banned from the leaderboards so don't worry about it i'm the only person who's moderating distant 2 by the way so you might not get banned but it might just happen that i just just don't really, you know, I might just verify the other runs and then just, like, kind of forget yours. It's just kind of weird how it goes, right? Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked. Yeah, it's like a soft soft ban, right? And then after that, you know, you go and bitch to somebody. I'm just going to say what the situation is and how they did it on purpose. And, you know, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, you know, there's no, no harm done. Windows Defender doesn't like Cheat Engine. It doesn't. That's why I turned Windows Defender off. I don't want to go. I don't want to come to Canada. Sorry. Yeah, people who do watch runs after like third place, good, good on you, dude. Good on ya. Like the fucking New Zealand people say, dude. Good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've done that on stream, right? Like when we verify runs on stream, I do do it. Um. But otherwise, why why bother? Like I'm not gonna nobody's gonna benefit from it. If you're not number one, you're last. I mean you can think of it that way too. At the same time, I don't think so, because then at that point, what's the point of submitting any runs if they're not number one? Fucking state, yeah. Monday brunch, baby. Fuck. Fuck. Some people just wanna see their runs on the leaderboards and that's why they're that's why they're there. The leaderboards, that is, sorry. Um, that was fucking horrible. How many pots do I have? I must have, like... I have three pots. We're gonna grab the extra. Might as well. Yes, exactly. You're just wasting time. It's, you know... If that's what you want to do and you enjoy it, that's great. Good for you, dude. It's not waste... Time spent that you enjoy isn't wasted, right? Yes, that disencourages people to run, yeah. I'm not gatekeep. I'm I'm very anti-gatekeep, like... Just because I don't want to submit my runs that are, like, fucking absolute... Gu like, I've ran well over 100, 100, 120 or something categories, right? Out of, like, multiple, multiple, multiple games. Just because I don't want to submit my absolute shit tier runs to some categories or some games it doesn't mean you shouldn't if you want to like i i just don't get any sort of a kick from having my name on the leaderboards like it doesn't really do it much for me i only really submit the runs that i spend at least a bit time on usually depending really usually moderators would want everybody to submit everything that's the usual sentiment because they want people to be on the lb because then that makes people more likely to run it and, you know, games die over time and all that stuff. It's just how it goes. Natural progression, really. Oh, motherfucker. Natural progression is that you don't get this clip. This is why uh, doing Emily second kind of sucks. Because that skip is very volatile. But uh, it's okay. One, two, three. We have Finch Ring, Marcola, War Metal, Finch Ring, Marcola, War Metal. We have Winsler, Snuffed in Conti Bird. Conti Bird, Winsler, Snuffed and Lisa Swift. Wait, not serious Diamond, motherfucker. I only submit runs that I'm happy to see them on LB. I know you're always watching speedruns and want to be- Yeah, exactly. That's that's great. Go for it, right? Yeah, exactly. And that, that's how I always tell people to do it as well. Don't compare yourselves to others. Compare yourself to yourself, right? Like that's what I try to do. But that's the only that's the only way I've been able to motivate myself over the years as well with this game because let, let's be honest, for the vast majority of it, nobody's been running it. 
very recently there was seeker right but like before that for a couple of years there's been only a very few people who've tried taking any lb or any any category seriously so like if i was like that then i would just never play the game again you would just know improve we found so many skips we found so many optimizations during those times when there hasn't been other people running it so yeah like the best thing is if you can just love the run then it doesn't really matter how many how many um what do you call it like uh, uh, how many uh, what sort of a time you have or anything all collectibles is AC. He only comes back with his strats. No, it's not Assassin's Creed. It's all collectibles. It's everything except coins. Exclamation mark AC. Gives you a brief list. Yeah, thanks, Asuli. So we have 100%, which is all the collectibles. All bone charms, paintings, runes, uh, blueprints, and coins. All collectibles is the same, except you don't collect coins. It's a way more streamlined run. It's like 37 minutes compared... Or 35 minutes or something compared to hour and 52 for 100%. So you can see how collecting all the coins adds uh, quite a bit quite a bit more time. It's a good watch, though, if you... Uh... Ever want to hear me ramble about shit for two hours? <laughs> it's seriously, it's a it's a good watch. Although in Mission Seven, I do uh, I did lose my fucking mind a couple times because there was a glitch that happened that cost us multiple minutes. It was like one and a half minutes. There's an event where a soldier is supposed, like one of the guards is supposed to put like a piece of gold or silver, um, like uh inside a fucking water pit or whatever and he didn't do that for some reason the event didn't trigger so i could never get that and i had to restart it from a previous safe point can i fucking sheath hey Roz, by the way how all coins is wild how do you remember that practice we um i think i did two weeks of practice before i started doing runs like we we ran every single mission back to back to back to back to back to back to back like, I, I would spend, like, an entire day on, like, one mission. I streamed ridiculous amount. I did this on this... I did this, like, two weeks before Deathloop launched. Because I was just, you know, we were just kind of preparing for Deathloop. And then Deathloop launched. So it was a busy... It was a busy fucking month. Holy. I streamed, like, 60 hours a week or something. Like, that, that, that was ridiculous. It was, like, I think... I believe it was the most I've ever streamed. Well, I was doing eight, nine, ten hour streams. But I was really tempted. I really wanted to get the 100% done. And then when Deathloop launched, of course, it was a new game. There was new promise. But uh, Deathloop never ended up being something I was in love with. Nice. You mean in this game or Deathloop? I mean both. Deathloop lacks movement, which sucks. It's the reason why uh, I never really enjoyed Deathloop too much. It was a hard game for me to grind. Oh, dude. Dude. I thought I got stuck out of bounds. It's fine. Whew. That might still be gold. Yeah, the thing that makes this run specifically hard is Emily and Corvo are very different. Like, like I don't want to be like, oh, I'm look at this stream of flexing. But seriously, it's a very different thing to run this em game with Emily or Corvo. Doing both back to back is actually kind of nuts. <laughs> like, that's gonna <laughs> that makes this a bit harder because when you are just playing one category, it's easier to kind of reset into it, right? You just kind of. You get into that groove, muscle memory and all that, right? It, it's just how it works. I have two pots. Um, two, three. Now nah, we're going to get the extra pot. Yeah, fuck it. Now nah, might as well. Not worth risking it. 
yeah, your rhythm gets offset 100%. You don't get into that comfortable, you know. You, you, because when when you reset with Culver Emily all the time, you know, you just keep doing the same stuff again and again. And especially with Emily, a lot of this is really tricky compared to Corvo. Corvo is literally just point and click. Emily is more like point, click, drag, fucking release, let go. Push, pull, twist, twisted, bop it. It's bullshit. And that's what also dra uh, drives people to play Emily a bit more, I think, than Corvo. Seriously. Emily is finicky, yeah. The ability doesn't really feel uh, natural. Again, compared to Corvo, click, um, click, point and click, right? Like, you, it's really hard to be more simple than that. Oh, I got a random leap. Great. Then I couldn't cheese. I, I thought I was going to fucking fall down and die. Okay, we didn't get Duke though. That's good. This mission is kind of on a timer. It's it's kind of weird. After you enter the second section, you have like 52 seconds or something until Megan starts... Uh, until Megan starts to... Like, uh, come from the checkpoint or whatever. So, I'll tell you when. So basically, whenever we see this thing here, that's how much time you have. So, now. And now Megan is going to start moving. Right there. Blop. There's the checkpoint. And now Megan is starting moving. So, if I got duked like once or twice, I could have still made it in time. With Corvo, you can get duked once and still make it. With Emily, you can get duked twice, basically, and make it. But that just means you can't do any movement mistakes. It's a shame that we can't really trigger her to come here any faster. We've tried, like, everything we we could come up with but that's why this split is always like around 230 even if you play it kind of badly like that at the end Zed, there just isn't really any time to lose so we can still get a 40 41 sorry but not really a 40 which kind of sucks but that's okay i'll take a low 41 so you can see how close we are though like sub 40 would have just closed right and we are finishing mission eight and this mission is only you know, this mission is only a minute. So, realistically, we're only like a minute behind. Which isn't that bad. It gives us like a minute of leeway in my summer best. I like that. That's a good joke, yeah. The sort of jokes that make my girlfriend cringe. She's a, a dental assistant or whatever. Dental nurse. What's the favorite time of the dentist? 2.30. <laughs> How long that took you to get? Yeah. I've uh, read many a joke during the stream. And outside as well. Slow. Oh, sorry, fast. <gasps> Um, I was a bit slow at the start, so I tried to compensate. Too bad. That happens. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm here. Okay, I was like, where the fuck am I? Let me clip that real quick. There we go. It's not sad at all, because we're not on, like, uh, we're not on the pace. Never get attached to any single run, but especially don't get attached to runs that, like, are on shit pace. Oof, even better. I couldn't get either one of the skips. These lost me at least 16 seconds. Sorry, uh, 26 seconds for not getting uh, two of these skips. Each one of them saves up to 13, so. I mean, it's still... Still a recce. But like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't get attached to it because, like, the amount of runs you've had die. It's ridiculous. That is a PB, though. That is technically, that is still a world record. I mean, nobody else doing this. So say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> 41 4. I mean, this was the first kind of attempt that we finished in 133 resets.
It's doable. Fuck yeah.